everyone, my name is Ellie and I work with the education team with Forest Park Forever. This week on Branching Out, we're going to learn about invasive species. And to do that, we're going to explore Deer Lake Savannah and look for examples of native and invasive plants that grow right here in Forest Park. When a plant or an animal has been living in the same area for a long period of time, we consider it to be a native species. Think of something like this sweet gum tree here. It's been living in what we know as North America for millions of years. You may have even seen these gumballs near where you live that come from this tree. Because the sweet gum tree has lived here for so long, it's adapted to the local climate and soil. And it's also been interacting with other native plants and animals for all of that time. Invasive species are those that do a lot of damage in a new environment. Take a look under this tree. All of the green leaves that you see are winter creeper. It's an invasive plant that our land management team works to remove from the park. You're about to meet my friend Billy. This seed head specifically is wild bergamot. And he's going to talk to you more about the biology of this plant and the work that we do to help native plants succeed in Forest Park. Hi, my name is Billy Haig. I'm the riparian steward with Forest Park Forever. Today we're in Forest Park at Deer Lake Savannah, which is right next to the Muni. Here in a savannah-like habitat, there are a lot of native and invasive species that thrive. Let's go take a look. One of our native Missouri grasses that has been here for millions of years is Big Blue Stem. Another common name is turkey foot that has to do with the seeds that come off the top. When it first comes up, it's a bluish green color that fades in the fall to this wonderful bronze color that we have here that creates a lot of fall and winter interests. Not only is it shelter for insects, uh, but it's also a food source. The seeds are eaten by birds as well. It can get about eight feet tall, and as tall as it is, the root system goes just as deep, helping to prevent erosion, which is the removal of soil by water and wind, and it also can improve soil quality as well. One major impact in our restoration efforts that happen here along the waterway is you can see that it's a clump forming grass, so it helps prevent uh, invasive species and weeds from entering our habitats. Our land management team in Forest Park works every day to remove invasive species. In an area that we don't maintain, it's covered in winter creeper and bush honeysuckle, and it kind of takes up space and all those resources that these native plants need to survive. So we wouldn't be seeing all these grasses and wildflowers in these areas. Thanks for branching out with us this week and learning more about invasive species. If you'd like to learn more about how Forest Park Forever removes invasive species and helps to protect native species here in the park, check out the blog post that we linked in the description of this video. Be sure to visit our online nature classroom where you can find all of the resources that we're sharing. See you next time.